his mastery. Pretty good, pretty good. Down. Number one guy, Tony Robbins. Oh, God. He's walking to the stage, Tony Robbins. Point is, if you'll give your all during this time, there's no one in this room who won't leave here growing your business at least 30% in the next 12 months. It's the states we're going to go in. They're going to show you how to solve shit that comes up. Complexity is the enemy of execution. The more complex, the less likely it's gonna actually happen. The secret is simple. This whole week we're together, your obsession has to become, how do I add more value? Not the value you want to give, the value your clients are seeking. The closer you get to somebody, the more powerful the shared emotion. As a way to build fans, can you get within the social space or personal space of your customers? All business really is two things, innovation and marketing. Innovation is just a better way to meet their needs. If you have a better way to their needs and you don't market it, it's worthless. Marketing is getting people to want to do business with you. I'm looking to transform the quality of people's working lives and remove the toxicity and fear out of businesses. This is a place for people that want to lead life on their terms, who won't settle for less than they can do or be or share or create or give or enjoy. Become a destroyer of limitation and you'll have the life you desire and deserve. Your biggest limitation is the culture you've been brought up in. Your greatest strength is to create your own culture. I want you to become an authority in your own life. I want you to be able to create whatever you want. I want you to think differently than anybody else and get results that are different. That means you must become unreasonable. Reasonable people adapt to society. Unreasonable people are the only ones to create real change. It turns out that the key to getting rich is to avoid doing stupid things. To me, success is getting what you want. Fulfillment is giving what you got. I believe I have a wonderful heart. And when I feel great, then I'm able to, to do more for other people. And that makes them feel awesome. So that, to me, is sexy. Give her a hand, ladies and gentlemen. So can you get 20% more leads? Yes. Give her a hand, ladies and gentlemen, it's an amazing day. But it's human nature to focus on yourself, and there's nothing wrong with that except it leads to pain. And when you focus on what you're not getting, it's all about you. Suffering comes from constantly thinking about yourself. I'm trying to show you that business is not about self, not if it's going to be successful. It's about something more than you. That's why we're called here. We're called here to find a way to do more for others than anybody else. To do that, you have to be open to thinking differently about things. The great thing about business is you're rewarded proportionate to the amount of value you add to others. And if you add to a mass number of people, you can experience a mass amount of value within you, both in the most important thing and the meaning of your life. I just had a breakthrough. She got a breakthrough! But now I know that I was going into like a false masculine mass to be you ever significant. That? That's awesome. My process here is to give you systems so you can come up with better beliefs that will empower you and your family and your businesses so you can create greater value for people of all walks of life, not just the ones that think what you think. Some of the greatest entrepreneurs and founders in the world also just happen to be some of the world's greatest marketers. Say, I'm a marketer! That give me chills that like to look back where I was at two years ago to where now, so it's like completely polar opposites. And I mean, my life changed like never before, man. And thank you, brother, for You're seriously. Welcome. Bring 50 to San Jose as my guest. I'll give you the tickets. 50 people. Let's make it happen. Give my hand. As leaders, invite your customers into a meaningful story in which their lives can be transformed. Everything that you think you can believe and learn this week, you will do. Because if I did it, you sure as hell can do it yourself. Thank you very much. We don't negotiate our goals. When we have a goal, the end of the movie, whatever that is, it's unwavering. It never changes. The plot might change. The script might change. How we get there might change. But the end of the movie, it's unwavering, man. This is a bucket list item for me. And I'm so happy to be here and so damn honored. No, I visualize this. But this is why most people don't do it without the expertise, the self-doubt. Yes. The talk track. How did you deal with that? You. <laughs>
It's also when you can do something that's bigger than yourself, the self-doubt becomes a lot smaller. But when I'm going through the door at Neiman's on behalf of all the women that came before me that didn't have this chance and all the women on the planet who still don't, I could be crying in the car and shaking. I'm going through the door. And so it's, it's me emotional talking about that. That's beautiful. That's gorgeous. <laughs> I found purpose, thank you Tony, for real. I, I really would not have found purpose had it not been for being in the room with all these beautiful people that want to go through the same thing that I want to go through. I want to give Transcendental Meditation to every single mom. I want to provide scholarship for nannies for middle class, newly separated and divorced mothers. Wow. I want to send their families on vacation. I want to provide unlimited hot meals at my own homeless center in Connecticut so people can come. Give her a, in between these stop, give her a hand, this is awesome. The amount of love and generosity in this room is beautiful. I really invite you to take it home. Don't let it just be part of this team. Let it be anywhere. We raised $926,000, just under a million dollars. That will free 750 children that are in slaves. And I'm gonna top it off and we're gonna take it to a million. I'm gonna add another 75,000. Make the sound of victory one more time, go! You call upon it in business, you will find the answers because it's not just for you. Your business is something that is serving something more than you if it's a true business. The clients it serves, your associates, your employees, your partners, your suppliers, all of us together finding a way to add value, to make something just a little bit better in this world. To the extent that we do that consistently and we manage the process of our business, we will also prosper emotionally, spiritually, and financially. Business is a spiritual game. Whenever you're fearful, when the economy looks bad, when there's a problem, what makes you a leader is you solve problems. Make the sound if you unleash one more time, go!